my apologies for the abrupt ending on the last video. Um, I need to be smoother about my, my transitions there. But um, we entered our data in, and we noticed, by the way, as we were entering the data in, that it was requiring fields that maybe we didn't think needed to be required. You can always go into this database structure, and in the applications, you can right click and say modify table, and then it's got all these attributes about the table. So I can say, you know what, last name, I don't actually care if they enter it. Maybe they're really famous, they just have a first name, um, whatever. Like I can go in and choose what I want there. Uh, P key, primary key, what's the primary key? AI is auto increment. U is unique, does it need to be unique? And so I can go in and modify this stuff in here and then set up any constraints like we've done here with the foreign key. I can do that from within the database itself. Um, but anyway, we've got the database set up now. We've got some majors in the, so if I go browse data and look here in the majors, there's data in the majors. And so let's see if we can actually use this information um, to our advantage now. And so um, let's, I'm gonna close all these windows, close all. And the one we care about right now is going into the, let's see, where are we gonna have it? So on the, on the dating application view, what I want here is instead of just having them type in any old major, I want them to select a major from the list that I just created. And so there's really two ways that I can do this. As I load up this dating application, so if I go back to my home controller and I look at when I'm calling this uh, dating application form, then um, obviously just the same way that I got a list of applications down here, I can use that same methodology to load up a list of uh, majors. So I can say underscore context is equal to applications. Well, it'd be, uh, sorry, I'm doing this wrong. Underscore context dot. Uh, and then before we did applications was what I was going to say. But instead of applications now, this is going to be dot majors. And then I can take those that list of majors and I can just, um, uh, depending on what I want to do with it, I can put it in just to a list. If I'm not filtering anything, I can just say, put that into a list, so to list. And now I've got that sitting out there. Well, obviously I need to store that somewhere. So this is where we put in the var and then the name of whatever we want to put in there. And so I can say the var majors is equal to, go out to the database, look in the majors table and, and put it into a list. And currently that list is just going to be whatever order is in the database. I can go in to the majors and say, do something like, whoops. I can go in and say, um, dot order by, and then do it like we did last time using this uh, Lambda. So X equals X dot um, major name. So let's go order by the major name and then take that and make it into a list. So whatever you want to do in terms of loading up the data, we can do that um, by, by just using these little link commands. But, but the point is we, we built it into a list. Now, how do I get that list into the dating application? And so I'm gonna show you two different ways. One is there is this thing called a view bag, and it's like an open variable that you can put whatever you want to in it. And so instead of putting this into a variable called majors, we could use this thing called the view bag and just, we, we, we give it a name of whatever we wanna call it. And so it could be blah, it could be hello, it could be majors. And so we're, this is just an open, like it says a bag that we can put stuff in and we're just giving it a category, a little space that we're gonna store this stuff in inside this bag and the bag gets passed from the controller down to the view. And so if I want to, I can use the view bag. And then on this end, I can uh, use that to, to load up this database by going in and um, adding a little dropdown here. And so a dropdown is obviously, let me just do this below this and then we'll, we'll delete the one above it. So it's going to be a select. And what is this select for? Let's, let's actually hang on to that for a second. But then in the select, we're gonna have the different options that are available. And the value for those is going to be blank currently, but we're gonna say, this is the first one, and we're gonna say select 
a major so that there's something in that top box, right? But then for all the other majors, we want those to be loaded up by C sharp. And so I can go in and put some razor code and same as we did before for each major. Um, and we did var last time and that would be fine too because it's gonna detect it's a major, but now I'm doing it a different way just to show you. For each major, let's just call it M, in what? Well, we go to our little view bag, kind of like a little purse that's been handed down to us. We go into the pocket that says majors and that's where we're gonna get all our majors from. And then we can just say option and then the value of each of these is going to be what? What, when they click on it, what do we want to select? Do we want to get the major name? No, this is part of the application. And so what we want to get is the major ID. So I'm going to go in there and say at M, which is referring to that instance, dot major ID. So when they click on it, I want to actually select the ID. But what they're going to see is not the ID. What we want them to see is the major name. So M dot major name. Oh, sorry, M dot major name. All right, does that make sense? So we are, the value behind the scenes, behind the curtain, they're selecting an ID, but they wouldn't know if they saw one or two or three what that meant. And so we're giving them the name instead but when they select the name, what it's gonna select for us is the ID. And what does the ID refer to? This is where in our select, we need to have our little ASP4, and our ASP4 is going to be for what? It's gonna be for the major ID. That's the thing that they're ultimately selecting in this application. And so this is, and then I can now get rid of this code that, that does the other stuff, and I'll run this just to make sure it's actually working, but, um, As I now go to this application form, now I've got a little drop down that says select a major. And when I drop it down, it shows me the different options. And when I select one, again, from the user's perspective, they just selected a name. But from our back behind the scenes computer's perspective, they just submitted a number. And so that's using the view bag, uh, we call it, to pass information from the controller down to the view, and we can do that as just, like I say, a little uh, customizable pocket that we can put stuff in this view bag to pass it from one place to the other. And we can do as many of those as we need to. And so that's one way of doing it. The other way is something we refer to as view models, which we won't get into uh, now, but we will in the future. And so this view bag is, is uh, super helpful for us when we're just trying to get you know, some piece or group of information from the controllers down to the form. So in this series of videos, we went in, we figured out how to query the database, we, we pulled information, we passed it uh, to our view. So we went and built our, um, our wait list view where we uh, populate this using something called razor code in, in combination with, uh, you know, the, the C sharp parts and the HTML parts to make that razor code. And we built the wait list that way. We went in and figured out how to load up for our majors, right? And get a list there that we pass to our dating application to be able to load up this uh, major ID using the view bag. We also went into the models and, and set up a foreign key relationship between fields. And so anyway, we did a lot and there's a lot to it. Uh, you know, enterprise application development, um, not easy, but that's why there is, is such a demand for people who can do it. And that's why the salaries are what they are. And, and what these uh, employers want more than anything, as I've mentioned, is just people who are relentless in trying to solve errors and get in and figure things out. And so keep on keeping on. Hopefully you're having fun. Spencer out.